Hello everybody, today is National Storytelling Day, so I am going to tell you a traditional story. This is the story of Stone Soup. Now, there are actions, so watch what I'm doing and you join in. There's a song, so listen and join in too. The story of Stone Soup. Once upon a time, long, long ago, there was a very wise old man. The old man was a wee bit bored and decided that he would go on a journey. So he packed everything into his knapsack, popped it on his back, waved goodbye to his wife and walked out the door, off down the road. He came to village and thought, I'll stop here for tonight. He met some villagers near the centre of the village and he asked them, was there anywhere he could stay? Could he have something to eat? Well, they said, you can certainly stay here, but unfortunately, the crops have been poor this year and we have hardly anything to eat ourselves. I'm afraid we cannot share our food with you. Oh dear, said the wise old man. That is a pity. But, do you know, I'm a simple traveller. I do make a really good pot of stone soup. Stone soup, said the villagers. Oh yes, he said. Stone soup is the best kind of soup that you can possibly have. He said, and I had thought that if you let me stay here for tonight, that I could share my stone soup with you. Oh, said the villagers. That would be good because we are rather hungry. Well, said the little old man. There's only a couple of things I need. He says, I need a pot, I need some firewood, and I need some water. So off the villagers scattered, and they come back. One brought him a great big soup pot that she'd found in her house. Another brought some kindling for the fire, and another one brought some water. So the little old man lit the fire, put the pot onto the fire, poured the water in, glug, 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 and then, out of his pocket, he took a little silk bag. He opened the bag and took out a round, shiny stone. When the water began to bubble and boil and boil and bubble and bubble and boil, he dropped the stone gently into the pot and he started to sing this song as he stirred the pot. Oh, Missies, it's delicious. Oh, Missies, it's nutritious. Don't look so suspicious. That's how you make the old stone soup. And as the water bubbled and boiled and bubbled and boiled, he leaned forward. Ah, oh, as if to smell the aroma of the soup. And he took a spoon and he tasted the soup. Oh, he said, this is a wonderful pot of soup. He said, but one time when I made stone soup, he said, I had a bit of cabbage and it just turned a wonderful soup into a surprisingly amazing soup. Well, one of the villagers who was listening thought, hmm, I think I've got a bit of cabbage at the back of my fridge. I'll just go and have a look. So off she went, got the cabbage, brought it back, gave it to the little old man who chopped it up, chop, 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 popped it in the pot, boop. And when the pot began to bubble and boil and boil and bubble, he stirred it and he sang, Oh, Missy's it's delicious. Oh, Missy's it's nutritious. Don't look so suspicious. That's how they make the old stone soup. And then he tasted the soup. Oh, it was wonderful. This is the best soup I have ever tasted, he said. But you know what, he said. One time when I had this soup, there was a little bit of salt beef in with the cabbage. I says, oh, I know. He says, you haven't got anything. Oh, no, said the butcher's wife. I think I might have a little bit of salt beef. 
can you hold on? I'll go and get it. And off she ran. Off she goes. Are you running? <gasps> and she came back with a bit of salt beef. And she handed it to the little old man. And the little old man took his knife. Are you all ready to chop? Chop, 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 chop the beef up. Popped it in the pot. Blop. And the pot began to bubble and boil and boil and bubble. And he stirred and stirred and he sang. Are you ready for it? <gasps> oh, Missy's, it's delicious. Oh, Missy's, it's nutritious. Don't look so suspicious. That's how you make the old stone soup. And he tasted the soup. Oh, my goodness, he said. That's absolutely magnificent oh i'm really liking this stone soup he says i'll soon be ready for you to have a taste he says but i was just thinking to myself there one of the times when i had stone soup he said as well as the salt beef and the cabbage he said somebody gave me a wee bit of onion he said oh and he said it just raised it to another level oh said one of the ladies i've got onions in my garden if you just hold on she said i'll pop over and get some onions so we're ready to run off and get some onions <gasps> run 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 got her onions run 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 she gave the onions to the little old man the little old man peeled onion you ready to chop he chopped the onion up chop 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 lots of onions lots of chopping chop 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 put it in the pan and as it began to bubble and boil and boil and bubble, he took his ladle and he stirred and he sang. Oh, Missy's it's delicious. Oh, Missy's it's nutritious. Don't look so suspicious. That's how you make the old stone soup. Oh, and he tasted. And the people in the village leant forward and they went, <sighs> because it smelled absolutely wonderful. But the little wise man, he just took a sip and said, mm, that is a delicious soup. He says, but sometimes when I make this soup, he says, people will give me peas or beans or leek or lentils or turnip. He says, and we chop it all up and we put it in to the soup and it makes a fantastic soup. He says, it makes a soup that you could feed to a queen. <gasps> well, the people in the village thought that sounded amazing. So they all ran off this way and that way. Can we run this way and that way? Run this way, run that way, run this way, run that way. And they went into their houses and they brought back carrots and peas and leeks and potatoes. <gasps> oh, Every vegetable that you can name, they brought back and they gave it over to the little old man. And the little old man took them all and he chopped them all up. Chop, 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 chop. Again, chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. And he put everything into the pot. And the pot was full right up to the top. And there was enough soup there to share with everybody in the village lots of villages beyond so as it bubbled and boiled and boiled and bubbled he stirred it and stirred it and this time everyone sang oh missy's it's delicious oh missy's it's nutritious don't look so suspicious that's how you make the old stone soup and now the soup was ready so everybody brought their bowls out the house with a spoon because you can't eat your soup without a spoon and just as they were about ready to dish up out came the baker the village baker had made lots of fresh bread for them to have with their soup so the old little old wise man dished up all the soup to everybody and they drank the soup up and they all agreed wasn't this the most amazing soup that they had ever tasted? Oh, thank you so much, they said to the little old wise old man. And the men of the village came round and they offered lots of money for the stone so that they could make their own stone soup. But the little old man said, no, 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 no. 
this is my stone. And he took it out of the pot and he washed it. And he popped it back in his bag, back in the pouch, tied it all up and popped it back in his pocket. Next morning, after he'd had a lovely sleep on such a full stomach after such a delicious stone soup, the little old man left the village. Bye, everyone. Can you wave bye bye to everybody? Bye, everyone. As he was going out of the village, he saw some children playing by the side of the road and he called the littlest child over to him. Come here. And he gave them a silk pouch with the stone in it. And the child said, oh, my goodness, that was a magic stone. It made such amazing soup. And the little old man said, no, 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 no. It wasn't the soup, that was the stone that was magic. It was everybody in the village helping each other. That was magic. Making us share is a magic thing to do. Now, if you like that story, perhaps you could share it with someone else for National Storytelling Day. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.